Muslim population is growing in Tucson, and a new mosque is one step closer to being complete. Here is a look from inside. So far, there is a full-size gym constructed where prayers currently being held. Now, your side's Priscilla Casper is live outside of the Muslim Community Center. Priscilla, what can you tell us? Thanks, Guy and Stella. I got a chance to speak with one of the center's board members today, and he tells me that he's seen the Muslim population here in Tucson triple since the 90s. 200 to about 500 people come to this mosque a day. One of the board members here says this center is needed in the community. The Muslim population has been increasing, and we need larger spaces, and also the proximity of the, of the mosque make a difference for the people uh, to, uh, to be able to attend. He explains there are two goals he hopes this achieves. One, to provide more services to the Muslim community, and the second? To bring our youth back to the center where they're not in the places where we do not, as parents, we do not want them to be. Like in the nightclubs or in the places where, where the kids, kids can hang around, we like them to be back here. Even though this center is just about to begin its second phase, it has received positive feedback. People are excited that we have this place as we have it. Because we used to, for our gatherings like this, we used to rent a place or go to the open park. One of the neighbors thinks the mosque is a great idea too. We find that it's a refreshing um, welcome to this community. They, we have different churches here in the area and it's just nice to have a culture. And check this out. The board director says the structural engineer and general contractor are both providing their services for free. They plan to start phase two of construction next month, and they hope to have the center fully completed by June of next year. Reporting live on the northwest side, Priscilla Casper, Kega 9, on your side. Thank you, Priscilla.